Hello everyone and I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be going over how to install a Wi-Fi adapter on a Dehua XVR recorder. And just some quick notes before getting started, that the Wi-Fi should only be used as a last resort if there is no other method to connect the XVR to a network. Be sure to limit it to a small number of cameras due to the wireless bandwidth constraints. Using this system with IP cameras can result in poor performance, and this configuration should not be used in critical installations. For recommended models of Wi-Fi adapters, it seems to be recommended to use Wi-Fi adapters with the Raylink RT5370 chipset. Compatibility can vary based on the exact XVR and firmware, and it's always recommended to confirm chipset requirements with the vendor. Before getting started, we need to have a configured XVR with the Wi-Fi capability, a Wi-Fi adapter with compatible chipset, and the Wi-Fi network information. Here we have an example of a USB Wi-Fi adapter with the Raylink RT5370 chipset. We'll plug it into the front of the XVR. After connecting the Wi-Fi adapter to your XVR, go into the main menu of the device, then the network settings. From the left-hand side, pick the Wi-Fi option. Give the device a few moments to scan for available Wi-Fi networks. When the Wi-Fi network list loads, locate your Wi-Fi in the list. Double-click it, and then enter the Wi-Fi password. If you would like your router to give the XVR an IP address automatically, enable DHCP. Then click Connect. When the XVR has connected to your Wi-Fi, you'll see the IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway populated. You can then click OK. It is advised to check Connect automatically in case there is a Wi-Fi dropout or your device's restart. Then click Apply. After exiting this menu, on the right-hand side next to the time, you'll see the little Wi-Fi symbol to indicate that you are connected via Wi-Fi. Now let's try restarting the device to make sure that the Wi-Fi will automatically reconnect. When the device has booted successfully, we can see that the Wi-Fi has reconnected. Now when checking via the DMSS app, we can see that the live view is able to load. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative, and I hope to see you guys again.